Hey Mega Maniacs, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan. After literal months of trying unsuccessfully to get a pair of these things, I finally lucked out within the last week and Nintendo had an order period up on their Switch Online website longer than five minutes and I was able to place an order and get shipping confirmation and here it is. I've got Super Nintendo Entertainment System style Nintendo Switch controllers for use with the Switch Online service or anything else that happens to be compatible with it. And of course I got a pair because I want to use them in multiplayer games. So let's go ahead and unbox one of them and take a look at it. Get these flaps open here and pull out this cardboard wrapped controller box. There we go. Set that to the side and reveal the nice presentation. We have the Switch Online controller inside a plastic bag, inside a box, inside a tray. Very carefully packaged and well labeled with instructions. And it notes no Joy-Con functionality compatible only with Nintendo Switch systems. Duly noted, Nintendo. Thank you for that warning. And we open the flap and pull out the tray and we have a Super Nintendo style controller in a plastic bag. So let's see how it feels. Does it feel like a real controller? Yeah. Buttons feel nice. Everything seems to be right here. Clicky L and R, ZL and ZR buttons. Face buttons feel like a regular Super Nintendo controller, a little sync button there on the bottom. Good heft to it, good weight. This feels nice. And it also comes with a sync cable, which you do very much need because as you'll see here, there are no Joy-Con rails to slide it on. Unlike the NES style Switch Online controllers, you cannot just slide it onto your Nintendo Switch. I mean, you could glue it on there, I suppose, but what would the point of that be? So, we'll walk back here. Hi, Tango. When I tell people that he takes over the recliner in the back of my game room, I mean it. He really has taken over. So, we will go ahead and dock the Switch, and there we have it. The Switch controller is now synced up from the top through the charge cord to the USB port of the switch dock. And once it's fully charged, I'll be able to use it without it. But in the meantime, you can see the orange light indicating that it is charging up. And we have our Nintendo Switch Online menu here with all the latest games, including Poppin' Twin B, which they just recently added. I think to test the controller functionality besides the menu here, a good choice would be Super Mario World. So let's fire that up. And Nintendo presents Super Mario World. Woohoo! He jumps, he spins, he does all the things. You can pause. You can go to the pause and rewind menu, go back and forth in time if that's the thing you want to do, just like you could with the Super Nintendo Mini, which you can see sitting there on the desk. And you can access the home menu. You can take snapshots with the other two top buttons that aren't shoulder buttons. And of course, you can go back to the menu using those non-shoulder top buttons. And you can do pretty much everything except the Joy-Con functionalities, and of course, scanning Amiibos. So, it works. It is a Super Nintendo controller for your Nintendo Switch. I'm glad I finally got a pair, and now I will just leave it on and charging and get it fully charged so I can use it wirelessly. But for now, I'll just leave it here with my Super Nintendo Mini, my Analog, and my Genesis Mini, my little retro set in the back of the game room as it were thanks for watching